Sir, my name is Alexander Osei from Ghana. Today I'm going to um, continue with our lesson Interpretation of Consumption Function and Care. Our previous lesson was on consumption function alone. But this lesson we're going to look at Interpretation of Consumption Function and Care. Alright. Now, we have C equal to A plus BY. This is C, consumption is equal to A. This A is called autonomous consumption. Autonomous. Autonomous consumption. Autonomous consumption. Now, the autonomous consumption, you are saying that that is what will be consumed when income is equal to zero. When our income is equal to zero. If here is zero, if you like, put zero here. If here is zero, B times zero will be zero. So it will be C equal to A. So the autonomous consumption is what will be consumed when income is equal to zero. I hope it makes sense. Nice one. Now, this one, in mathematics, we say that this is the C intercept. But in economics, we call it autonomous consumption, right? Now, this one, the B, B, the B is called marginal propensity to consume. The marginal propensity to consume is the change, right? That occurs in consumption when income changes. I hope it makes sense. Now, trust me, the change could either be increased or decreased, right? So we are saying that when income changes, consumption will change by B. When income changes, consumption will change by this. In mathematics, we say that this is the slope. I hope it makes sense. But in economics, we call it marginal propensity to consume. I hope it makes sense. Now, the Y, as usual, is the output or income. I hope it makes sense. Now, trust me, I've told you that you can also write a consumption function to be this. A plus B, then Y, which is the disposable income. But if you are writing it like this, there are a lot of things that must go into it. Because disposable income alone comes with other factors, right? Good. Now, disposable income, disposable income, disposable income, but disposable income is equal to income plus transfer payment minus direct tax. This is a direct tax. This is not indirect, it's direct tax. So disposable income is equal to this. So I think if we are using this one, if you are using this formula, of which basically most of the questions, they will give you this one because they know that this one contains a lot, right? Good. So if you are going by this principle, then substitutionally, you are going to get C equal to A plus B into brackets, disposable income, but disposable income is income plus TR minus C. Can you see that? So if you try to expand it, you are going to get C equal to A plus BY plus BCR minus BC. This is how it's going to be. I hope it makes sense. Nice one. So this is how it is going to be. You can do further computations, but I just want you to know that this is how it is going to be. I hope it makes sense. So if you're going by this principle, it means that our consumption function is going to be like this. So you can factorize B out. Then you, you perform further computations on it, but this is how it is going to be. Having understood this one, let me also give you the consumption step. The consumption, the consumption is is it straight? No, my curve is not that straight. See the consumption curve, right? We all know that the consumption is not to get the disposable income or the income. How it makes sense? So here will be the income. And you say that when income or disposable income is equal to zero, we consume this. We consume B, B, right? So when here the income is equal to zero, we consume here. Because when the, y, the, when the x axis is equal to zero, it's y axis. So when income is equal to zero, we are going to consume here. So b is... No, we are going to consume this one, sorry. If this one is equal to zero, if this one is equal to zero, we are going to consume a, 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 a. So here is a. I hope it makes sense. Nice one. So if it is equal to zero, we are going to consume a. Now, basically, we normally draw our 45 degrees line. 45 degrees line. Don't be confused with the 45 degrees line. It's a trend. That is how the economy is supposed to be. The economy is supposed to move in a direct relationship with the income. How it makes sense. Nice one. So 
This is the 45 degrees line. 45 degrees line. I hope it makes sense. 45 degrees line. Now, consumption curve will move like this. It will cut the 45 degrees line. So here we see equal to A plus BY or A plus BY or BY. Now the A is here. That is what will be consumed when disposable income or income is equal to zero. Of the sense. So this is how we draw and yes, aggregate expenditure or aggregate demand. I hope it makes sense. So this is how we draw the consumption function. So when you get consumption function, always the intercept autonomous is here. And the slope and everything follows like this. The 45 degrees, looking at the business cycle, we have trend, business cycle trend. So the 45 degrees is how that normal sequence that economy is supposed to be. But that is not what we normally get it to be, right? Good. So watch out for our next lecture as we expand the next subtopic. Bye-bye.